Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's Gaming with GeForce, and welcome back to part 9 of my Undertale Pacifist Let's Play. In the last episode, we miserably failed um, fighting Metaton EX. I think that's his name, like his new body. So we're back at it for round 2 with Metaton here, and let's hope that we can actually get somewhere this time. I did go back and get some heal items, just so you know. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to try this again. I still got hit. I don't know how. Drama, romance, bloodshed. Man, they was wrecking on me with these before. Um go ahead and heal one time okay so oh I got it at like the last second start typing a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> okay so we got that Oh, I forgot you were supposed to shoot that. Ugh. Oh man, this is getting crazy. <laughs> Happy break time. Okay. Okay, I definitely need to heal now. Um, she's a glam burger. Crap, dude. Really didn't want to do that. It's going to take a while for these noodles to cook. You actually have to wait for them to cook. Which is weird. Three minutes left until the noodles are finished. <laughs> The noodles are finished. Finally, they don't taste very good. You had the flavor packet. That's better. Not great, but better. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Man, so much healing doing getting going on here. Finally. Ow, dude. Oh, man. That did a number on me. I think it's pretty much done after this. Has to be close. Oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached a viewer call in Milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously I can't tell but I guess this is the last episode I'll miss you Metaton oh I didn't mean to talk so long oh no wait wait but they already hung up I'll take another caller Metaton your show made us so happy Metaton I don't know what I'll I'll watch without you Metaton there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart <laughs> uh, I I see everyone thank you so much darling perhaps it might be better if I stay for here for a while humans already have stars and idols but monsters they only have me if I left the underground if I left the underground would lose its spark I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled so I think I'll have to delay my big debut besides you've proven to be very strong perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. Ha. It's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. Well, I'll be alright. Knock them dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Whew, man, that was so crazy. Tough fight. For sure. Even with this being a pacifist run, this is this is hard. I I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Metaton! Metaton, are you Thank God it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have I would have I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know. He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Okay. So we're like nine minutes in this recording here. S sorry about that. Let's keep going. I wonder why she's going with me. So you're about to meet Asgore. Uh-huh. You must be... You must be pretty excited about all that huh you'll finally 
you'll finally get to go home. Well, wait. I mean, um, I, I was just going to, um, say goodbye, and I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take this, take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. A really long elevator ride. <coughs> Turn my phone down real quick here. Okay. Castle elevator. So, this is going to be pretty much, I guess, the last thing here. We're almost done. We're like so almost done that I don't even know what to say. It's a golden flower. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. All right. There's a worn dagger inside the box. You got the worn dagger. Um. Definitely want to do that. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs, 98. It's a closed drawer. There are rows, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a king-sized bed. Okay, so everything's pretty much the same in here. I guess that was the room that was under renovations or whatever. Or was it this? Maybe this room. Room under renovations. That was it. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. So it's making a little sense now. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. There's another key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Okay then. Looks like everything is pretty much the same in here. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. There's nothing in here. You unlock the chain. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died.
Azrael racked the grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans once again had taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Alright, so here we go guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. That was a quite long walk. And you get a little background on the story there if you're not sure what's going on with the game. Uh, that was pretty much it. So now that we're all on the same page and to an understanding about this... I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode, and I will see you guys on the finale of my Undertale Pacifist Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, and I'm really going to enjoy the next one. I hope you guys do, too. See you guys on the next episode.